Hey guys, today I'm reviewing the 2016 MacBook Pro 15 inch edition with touch bar. So far I've been using the MacBook Pro for about a month now and I have to say that I really do like it. For me, portability is so important and I was looking at the 13 inch versus the 15 inch and I wasn't sure which one to get. After spending some time with both of them, I decided on the 15 inch. Here's the thing. The 15 inches are so thin and light now that portability is really easy with them. Here's why I like the 15 inch better. I'm editing a lot of videos and I want to make sure that I have the proper screen real estate. 15 inch monitor is very nice, appropriately sized, and allows me to fit everything I need on the screen for editing videos. Battery life is fairly decent on the MacBook Pros. However, when doing some video intensive processing, the laptop will switch to its secondary graphics card and will actually deplete the battery life quicker. Day-to-day -day use on my MacBook Pro is great and easy. The laptop actually runs pretty cool and I never hear the fans come on. Now, when I'm doing graphic intensive work, such as editing videos, I do know that when the graphic card is switched to the secondary graphics card, the system does start to get warm. One of the drawbacks to the 2016 MacBook Pro is there's not a lot of accessories available for it yet. Cases are hard to come by since the device was just released and I have not been able to get my hands on one yet. I was disappointed when purchasing the device at the Mac store at the limited amount of accessories they had. No cases, no SD memory card reader, it's almost like they didn't even know the MacBook was coming. Now the keyboard definitely does have less travel than the normal keyboard. If you're switching from a normal computer or a normal laptop to this keyboard, you will definitely notice a difference, but for me, after a few minutes of working on the keyboard, I do get used to it and it's not a bad experience. A lot of people are talking about the trackpad. It's extra, extra large on this laptop. I am amazed by the trackpad. Clicking on it really feels like you're clicking, however, you're not. The trackpad does not have any travel and the electromagnetics that make pulsing vibrations make you think that you're actually clicking when you're not. Some people have said that their palm is interacting with the mouse pad while doing their work. I have not experienced this and I think the new trackpad is great. To address the dongle situation, a lot of people are saying how many dongles they have to have for the device and really I don't know if I agree. This dongle is used if I want to plug a monitor into like a 4K TV or a larger screen. If you have a cell phone or any other device that was already using USB, a simple dongle like this one can do the trick. Apple is selling these for only $10, and to be honest, having this dongle on the end really doesn't bother me. The only other device I really use is this third-party accessory that basically just allows me to plug my USB stick in or multiple USB adapters. I really like that the USB-C plugs allow me to plug the power on either side of the laptop. I highly recommend trying to get a discount with any Apple product. If you know a student or you're related to a student, or if you're in the military or a federal employee, a lot of people don't realize that you get a pretty substantial discount. This can take off almost $500 if purchased with the Mac and the warranty. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on my review of the 2016 MacBook Pro. Please subscribe to my channel for future videos.